Hi, I'm Andy Polly, and in today's tutorial we're going to be covering painting low poly UV textures with ZBrush and exporting them out. Alright, before getting started, I do recommend that you go to my website where you can download all the project files if you'd like to follow along. Some of the things we'll cover along the way today is importing and exporting .obj files as well as .ma files, setting up an image plane and extracting RGB information with the ZProject brush, also, we'll be covering creating UV maps with the UV Master plugin and importing and exporting textures. Alright, let's get started. First thing we want to do is make sure we've uh, opened up a new document. Okay, And we'll go over to the Tools um, doc here and click Import. And I've got my files located in the default. It's for easy access. Just navigate to your file and open your obj or .ma file. Alright, we'll go ahead and click yes here. And we'll drag and draw out our object. Okay, great. Hit T or click the edit button there. Alright, and we've got our horse. Alright, let's click shift F to take a look at the wireframe. You can see that the geometry is pretty low right now. So what we want to do is go to the geometry dock here, click divide. Now if you notice as I'm dividing it's smoothing out everything here. We don't want it smooth. We want to keep the original geometry. So let's control Z back. All right. And see where it says SMT here. Make sure that is unchecked. That's the smoothing option. All right. So that's off. We'll go ahead and divide it out several times here. Give us a fair amount of geometry to work with. Now let's check the wireframe and yes we've got a lot of geometry to paint on. The reason why you need to add more geometry is because if you go to paint um, with the bare minimum amount of geometry that we had before um, there's going to be uh, not enough geometry to hold your RGB information. So that's why we divided that. All right. Next thing we're going to do is go in and assign a material Let's just click Fast Shader. You can use whatever material you like. We're going to go to Color and Fill Object. All right, so now it's uh, just white fill. All right, and let's see here. We're going to turn the Z intensity off. We're not working with any Z, just RGB information today. And before we get to painting or doing anything else, we're going to go up here to our transforms and change our symmetry. Right now we're on X. Depending on uh, which direction you modeled in, uh, you may have brought your model in in a different direction, different uh, axis. So we'll go to transform, change it to the Z axis, take X axis off. Now you can see I'm mirrored properly now. Okay. Next step, what we want to do is go ahead and load up a new tool. We're going to load the image plane in so we can add our reference to that. All right, polyplane, open that. Okay, comes in kind of small, that's fine. We'll work with that in a minute here. All right, and we're going to go to texture. We're going to import a texture. And we'll Find whichever reference image you want to use. Okay. Now we need to apply it. Go over to your dock again and go to texture map. Click on the texture and there we go. All right, next step is we go back to our horse. And what we want to do is append that image plane to make it a subtool. Plane, and there it is. Now we're going to need to uh, grow it up a bit here. Let's scale. Make sure we're on the image plane. Good. All right. And you can see it's kind of out of proportion. Um, my image was not 1024 by 1024. 
So that's fine. We can go ahead and scale it out a bit. Now you can also go to your deformations tab down here in the dock and you have the options for <clears throat> size. You can change it in either direction. On the Y dimension, say we just want to work in Y, you can scale that down this way or back up. Okay, moving on here. Let's get this kind of wrangled down into about the right size we want. Because all we're using this image plane for is to pull the RGB information off of it and paint it onto our mesh. Okay, just kind of move it into place here. Alright, just kind of rough for now, that's fine. Going to be doing a lot of painting, poly painting, and readjusting as you go. Alright, one last thing. Let's take this image plane and make sure that it is off to the back of our model so it's not right there in the middle. So that was the Z dimension. We're going to offset that Z. Okay. Go the other way. You can either do this way or use the uh, transpose tool. Looks like transpose is going to be the faster one right now. Let's get that out of the way. There we go. All right, now let's go to transparency. Make sure you take uh, ghosting off. The reason why we're using transparency is so we can kind of see through the model and see where we want to paint. So there we go. Now go over to your brushes, or you can hit B as your hotkey. Pulls up your brushes. And we're going to go Z project. All right, and make sure that your Z intensity is off, your RGB is up, and you can go ahead and paint away. All right, so that's the first part here. And if you have symmetry on, you can see that it started painting on this back side here. That's great. Okay. All right, so go ahead and paint away. I'm going to finish up this portion of the model, and I'll be back with a better painted version.